Els, you're back here, and this time you are creating a layout instead of a card. And before we get into what you're doing, I have to tell you that that is one sweetheart that you have she is. on the cover. She's my granddaughter, Annika. Oh, yeah, she beautiful. Is fun and fabulous. <laughs> love her to I love it. I love her dirty little finger yeah. that she's got yeah. going on. That's and so then cute. I have a grandson as well. I need to mention him, Tom. Tom oh, is my go. grandson. That's yeah. right. We got yeah. you both in. So if you're watching. So what are yeah. you, let's get started. Show us yeah, all so, that you're gonna so do with this layout. So this is, uh, because I thought I was at Creative Scrapbooker, so I need to do at least one layout because Thank I'm you. not a scrapbooker, but of course with the grandbabies now I need to start. So uh, this is uh, the layer that I'm going to do. So the background is our soft finish cardstock. So okay, I will give I'll, this to I'll you. Take it over there. Yeah. So I already put some. So, uh, but what, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to show, you're going to create this background yes, for us. Create okay. a background. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what I started with, I had uh, the soft finish cardstock, the white one, and I edited a gesso to okay. it already. Okay. So you got some gesso. Dry. Yeah. So I did that already. And you've already done that. Yeah. I've already and else, done why why do you prime it with gesso? Well, because it just works easier with the watercolor on the on the soft finish cardstock. So okay. just as as a background. And I was inspired by this one because we have a design team member from Finland. It's it's Rika, and Rika? the last name I don't even try, <laughs> but she's fantastic. So she did something similar, okay. and I just loved it. She did a card with this, and I just loved her, her idea. Ideas. So yeah. So basically, what and I'm you going did to mention do, that this is your this is Elizabeth finish. Craft Design soft yes, finish soft card finish card okay. Yeah, and. Um, I always say I'm not an artist as well, so what I'm going to do, so uh, I'm going to use the Sakura. So we have some Sakura. I'm just going to yes. move it down in here so people can see it. Yes, it's the, it's the Koi watercolors and it's fantastic. So it's a, you see the Koi watercolors. And uh, they even have a bigger set now, I think 48. I think this is 24 and then okay. we have 48. They're so cute. It comes with the palette, as you know, and I just made my like color thing here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Use it a water brush, you just put a little bit water. of water. Yeah, and the water brush is in there. I'm just going to scribble a little bit. Okay, this is fun. So far, I think I could do this. Yeah, you know, I, and as I said, I'm not a painter, I'm not an artist at all, so I just scribble a little bit, and that's what I'm doing. And I'll show I'm everybody kind of, while you're doing that, this is where we're going. Yeah. Okay, And there's really while. no rhyme or reason to this. I just pick some colors that I think are nice in this picture, because I know I'm going to stencil as well. Okay. So with the stenciling, so I, t I pick some reds and I pick some orange pinks. And you can see when you're doing this, you can actually see the water floating, floating yeah. on top of the gesso. Yeah, so it's right. not seeping into the cardstock. Into the cardstock, yeah. Just a little bit more, maybe on this side. And when I did this, I thought, oh my. <laughs> what is going to happen is, here? What is going to happen well, so here? so far, I'm also <laughs> kind of sort of wondering, but I, I trust you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is basically what you do. So you, so you do a little bit, and then I added a little bit of splatters as well with the black. Oh, I love a little bit of extra. Yeah, I love so black spiders. Just, just a yeah. little bit of black yeah. always. Could so be. Sort of fun. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah. And it's it's really that easy. It is that easy. easy. Yeah. Because otherwise I couldn't do it. So that's basically. You know. So <laughs> I, I think, think that's so. enough paint. Okay, perfect. And then so then we're going to heat dry this with uh, so with the heat heat tool. Okay. And we're working on a, a heat resistant mat as yeah. well. I think this is dry. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So now you're dry. That didn't take very long. Now, <laughs> it didn't. Now where are you going? Now you're here yes, and you're so going to do ne what next? Basically we're going to stencil first. And that's this part right here? That's that part, okay. yeah. And that's just fun. So what I did, so let, let's show the stencil. You the created dye your own use. dye. Yeah. So I, I created my own stencil using the chef from background. So that's okay. this one. Again, these are Elizabeth Craft Designs dyes. Dice, yeah. And of course you can see I did that because uh, Annika here is wearing kind of a chef from. That's perfect. Yeah, you were totally so inspired that matches, by the that, photo. Yes, that matches. And then we have the entwined heart on there as well on the layout. Yes. We will say that later. Right. And then the background for this is the postage stamp die. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer than the die itself because right. I wanted, to, I didn't want to well, cut and, anything. And for those of you that haven't seen these before, these are like nesting dies, right? So yeah. they get bigger and bigger and or smaller and smaller and smaller. So you got all kinds of sizes. Yeah. So I just trimmed a uh, cut two and then uh, put them together because I didn't want to trim anything of the picture in this right. case. And then we have the banners as well. So I use that one for all the side pieces. Right. So those go. are the banners. And I like that you have them stored on a magnetic Magnet, sheet. Yeah, yeah that's we lose all those things. For don't sure. We? Yeah. And then I'm going to use the distress oxides here, and this is the iced, uh, iced spruce. Iced spruce. Tim Holtz, a distress oxide inks, hot and trendy, and they're yeah. everywhere right now. And, and I actually love them. They, they are. are they yeah. are everything that everybody is saying, yeah. in my opinion. 
Yeah, they are. It, it's the yeah. I'm very excited about it because they are opaque and you can just add, it, you cannot yeah. go wrong. And that's kind of, nobody now, I, can go wrong with this. I have to say, this is a really cool thing. Sometimes when you buy dyes, you don't, you think of using the dye, just the dye. So Els here has used her dye to create a stencil. stencil so yeah. that's fantastic. So re revisit your dyes and have a look at them and see if you can make a stencil out of them. Yeah. And uh, so I'm using it ice spruce and as you see, because it's opaque, so that's why it's nice to you can Use see a little bit under the underneath colors yeah, are coming yeah, it, through. Yeah, it is underneath, but it also will cover it a bit. So that's that's a nice thing about this. So I'm just stenciling it. And again, this is where Els is going. You can yeah. kind of see. And then, uh, so I don't know if people can see, but I line up the stencil at the bottom of my paper. Okay. So I know it's kind of straight on the... Oh yes, makes sense. And, and if you do, use circles or whatever, of course, it doesn't need to be straight, but in this case, I like it to be kind of... If you want it to be straight, you have the option of making sure with that using the base of yeah. the stencil. Yeah, it's on the edge. Yeah. yeah. And don't be too precise because I think that's the that's the key about the, doing this that you don't want to be too precise. I agree. I think you're doing a really sort of a, a whimsical. Yeah. Yeah. And I line this up on the side here. A few more here. And then I think we're good to go. You see, Looks now you great. have your base. And this was so much fun to do. And yes. It's, you know, it's kind of a. You're an artist, you've thing. created your own <laughs> paper. No, but it said inspired by somebody inspired. else. I have to give credit, that's <laughs> credit you, yeah. So then I take the picture, uh, and I already put uh, the 3D foam on there. So I'm going to put that in the center. And I let my 3D foam a little bit from the edge because I'm going to chuck those uh, banners oh, underneath there. Oh, I see, there. right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get you to stick that down because yeah. I want to make sure that they can see all yes, the all little elements banners, coming yeah. on. And these are your stamps. This is the general stamp set, is that correct? This is, this is the general sentiments. No, this is a love sentiment. Oh, this is a love sentiment. These are general oh, sentiments okay. earlier, and these, these are the love sentiments. And, yeah. and Els, you have a ton of stamps, don't you? We do, yeah. yeah. Right now we have, we have a lot of images as well from uh, Krista Snyder, which is great, so yeah. Yeah, I love I love the stamps. So uh, these are going to be. Oh, I just noticed that I stamped those the wrong way around. <laughs> so we're going to, you see, so it's going to be hard upside down. Nobody would have Look noticed. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> so now you're using a Secura pen. Yeah, the to color pen. It in. Yeah, to color it in. Uh, so I'm. Uh, this is the brush. So it's to pick my brush. Okay. And this is just to. And they color beautifully, but you can actually make a lot of here. I, I put it at the end. I make swirls with it as well. So oh you yeah, can, they're, really they're nice. Pure, because it's a brush tip. Okay, so hearts upside down, Annika. I'm, I'm going to show this die here again. This is the one that you use to create yep. those. Yeah. And again, this is all on your smooth uh, cardstock. Yeah, smooth, soft finished cardstock. Yeah. I keep forgetting to say soft finish. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> and it is soft finish. I don't know why. I, it, it is, is yeah. really nice it has to look at here. Yeah. So just trim these, uh, trim these banners down, and we're just going to stick those down. And of course, it's random. And again, I and this can is Els. Sorry, Els. This is Els's uh, adhesive as well, and it rips really nice. When I was watching you, I know I mentioned that in a previous show, but I have to mention it again. It just rips like butter. Yeah, yeah. And for this, when I when I line these up again, I use the pattern of the chevron. You see, so I can line yeah. them up nice and straight. Very nice. Well, Els, I think everybody can see exactly what you've done here. You've done Annika very proud. Well, thank you. <laughs> I hope I do. She's, you've done a she great deserves job. it. Well, you know what? If there's one thing that you take out of here is definitely look at your uh, dies, turn them into stencils. Turn them into stencils. And don't be afraid to start that page off like you did there with yeah. just doing some watercolors and some doodads like that. Like you really, it really turned into something really spectacular. Yeah. And, it, and it's easy. It just, is. just do it. I think that's that's the message. Just do it because just this is it. really my first layout that I ever did. Oh, Inspired well, by you somebody did else. Well. Yeah, so, so it's so easy and just do it. Because just do it. What can go wrong, you know? You, Nothing. Print another picture. No, nope, that's right. Thank you so much, Elsa. Well, you're welcome. Thank you.